Karen Covey, divorce lawyer, mediator, educator, and the author of When Happily Ever After Ends, How to Survive Your Divorce Emotionally, Financially, and Legally. I'd like to welcome you today to my two-minute divorce tips. These are real answers to your divorce questions. And the question I'd like to answer for you today is a question I hear from people a lot, and that is, how long is my divorce going to take? And the answer is, it depends. The more you fight, the longer it's going to take. But when it comes to timing, what you need to know is that there's more to divorce timing than just how much you fight. Divorce is a process, and everybody's got to work through that process in their own way and on their own time. And what I found to be true is that in almost every divorce, one person is farther along in the process than the other. So one person may have checked out of the marriage emotionally a long time ago. That person is ready to be done. Meanwhile, the other person might not have even been thinking about divorce. They might have been totally blindsided by the whole divorce issue. That person needs time to process their own feelings. I have a friend and divorce coach who likes to say that divorce only goes as fast as the slowest person. And that's really true. So if you're the person who's farther along in the process and you try to push the slower spouse, what's going to happen is that person is going to dig in and you are going to end up making your divorce take longer than if you had just given them the time they needed to get through the process. And on the other hand, if you're the slower spouse, you need to understand that your spouse is done and you need to work through the process. Yes, you need to take time, but you also don't have the luxury of taking all the time in the world. You have to process, you have to work on it so that both you and your spouse get to the point where you can actually move forward with the divorce in a productive way. But in, in not just emotions, but finances also affect the timing of a divorce. What do I mean? Well, if you want to sell a house, that takes time. If you have a business that needs to be valued, that takes time. So the more complicated your finances are, the longer your divorce is going to take just to work through those financial issues. And the final issue you might have is if you have children. Remember, just like you need time to work through the divorce process, your children need time to adjust too and you don't want to rush them. This whole divorce process is hard enough on the kids as it is. You want to make sure that you take the time that they need to get settled in their new situation, to get a schedule down where they can see you and your spouse, and to, so that they can get used to the whole idea and process it for themselves. All of this affects the timing of divorce. And you know, I have a saying, and that is, divorce is like construction. It always takes longer and costs more than you think. But if you can accept that and take a step back and relax a little bit, not sit on your divorce and let it go forever, but really kind of go with the flow, you're going to get through the process in a lot more effective way than if you try to rush through it no matter what. So I hope these tips have been helpful for you. Please, if you have questions or comments, leave them for me below or send an email to me at karen at karencovey.com. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you next week.